It's a turtle. It's a space snow turtle. I've seen everything now. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up almost right where we left off. I spent a little bit of time <coughs> off camera on the... Oh, look, there's a, a crash freighter down there. Um, on the uh, heat planet, uh, just doing some scanning and mine some phosphorus while we were there, and that's pretty much about it. I figured we'd go to this place here and just get it off of our radar. So let's go ahead and land right here. Superheated rain. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a little bit toasty out here. Let's grab that. Look at this really quick. The imprint of an ancient civilization was once absorbed by this strange marker. The story of the Viking somehow spills out of the language of my own people. The noble travelers will be spared. Their journey through the cosmos shall not be thwarted. So it is decreed. The will of Herc commands it. The Viking shall honor the judgment of the belief in the ancients. Um, this should send us to uh, one of those places where we can um, unlock some more where we have to find the keys and then we can unlock the chests for something that's usually pretty valuable. Um, is there shelter inside of here? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, get back, get our stuff back here. Our stuff as in our hazard protection. And um, yeah, I've already scanned, oh, oh, wrong planet. I scanned five of seven critters on the other planet there, so. Okay, is there another, is there another um, language stone thingy here? Natural burial site. Oh, that's right. This has the burial stuff. Those, as I recall, those bones can be worth a lot of money too. All right, well, here, let's um get this guy out of our base. They're, they're going to attack us no matter what, so we might as well put the herd on them. I don't think these guys do damage. They just call in more, uh, more drones. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just stay in here until the storm's over, and we'll just keep blowing these guys up. The thing is, though, is if, if you don't blow up the triangle guy, then it doesn't escalate. He just keeps calling the same tier of um, of drones in. So if you want to farm him without it escalating to the really hard guys, then uh, that's the thing that you do. Okay, so I'm just looking to see if there are any more language stones around here. It looks like there's probably just that one. Oh, wait a minute. There's that one too. Okay. We didn't do that one. All right, okay. Alright, let's get this, get this, and then get the heck out of here. Interceptors. That's not good. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Space anomaly, planetary interference. There we go. I don't want to fight right now um, because we're just not in very good shape at the moment.
Cut it out. Why am I taking... Oh, there we go. Looks like I wasn't thrusting to the anomaly. Okay, let's head back down here again. Yeah, we have enough of that to get out. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look for these thingies here, and we're not gonna we're not gonna pick up the gravitino balls until right at the end here. I'm gonna grab those two. The last time I did this, uh, I picked up the Gravitino Balls first, which I should not have done because I brought the Sentinels in immediately. Okay, next Ancient Key. Here, I might as well scan stuff too. Well, okay. Artifact pregnant. I'm not too worried about scanning right now. Artifact fragment. And then we need to find the main chest. Is the main chest at? I don't want to attract the attention of the baddies yet. That's a tech module. Where's the main chest? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. I was looking at the wrong icon. Can we reach it from here? Yes, we can. Preserved flowers. Five hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. All right. Now we could go ahead and grab some gravitinos. Why don't we do that? Oh, look at that big guy. Forty-five thousand bucks for him. Cool. All right, so there's usually a Gravitino right up here. This is going to call in the Sentinels. And then we'll go underground to get this one. it underneath or on top of that? Looks like it's underneath. Um, okay. Alright, that was weird. Okay, and let's see. We got another Gravitino over there. 
and one here. That's 183, that one's 183. So it looks like those are the other two. Um, let's increase the size of this. Just go the easy way. Oh, that one's like outside on the ground. How interesting. No wonder it was so far away. Goodness, look at all of them. Man, we, we, not, we need to remember about this planet. Did we scan you? Okay, time to go. Where's our ship? It's over here. This is the place to come for Gravitino hunting, man. The storms suck, though. Alright. Can we get in here? Doesn't look like it. Can we get underneath here? I just want to see if there's any more Gravitinos, like, really close. Yeah, that one's pretty close. Let's go after that one. Can we just... No, we gotta get up higher here. Oh, it's at the bottom of this ramp. Wait, where is it? No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Try and take them on. Probably not the smartest thing, huh? Autopilot lock disengaged. No, I don't want to disengage. I don't want to engage it. Okay. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. I think I figured out. How to make that lock-on thing work. I was having trouble with it in the last episode. Part of the problem, though, is one of the hotkeys for it is the S key. But I didn't realize you had to, to hold it down all the time. If you hold it down, then your ship just follows the enemy. Which, I don't know, it seems, seems to me like that's kind of taken a lot of the skill out of it. So, but I guess in this ship, though, <laughs> we need all the help we can get, so... <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and pop another chart here. Um, and let's also go to another planet, too. Can I... No, I can't get rid of that thing. Uh, so let's go discover another planet. Maybe we'll go to this one with the rings. Now we gotta get away from the anomaly here. Oh, okay, so that's the that's the heat planet. You know what? Actually, whilst we're here, I need to I need some silver. What is 
that. Well, that's just a silver. Does that not have collision? I guess not. That's weird. Okay, so that gives us 45 silver. We didn't get any tritium at all. We well, we got hypercluster. Uh oh. We got pirates. Okay. Um, we have two pirates. Uh, we have full shields. So let's switch. Let's see if we can do this. Not really the smartest thing in the world just because. Turn around and get him in front of me. Pete's sake. Okay. So we got the. I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can get him in front of me. Oh, seriously, dude? That's cheating. All right. Um, let's uh, recharge those. Okay, he's dead. Okay, engage the auto lock. There. That'll teach you to mess with me. Okay, so, anyway, <laughs> um, we want to head to a new planet we haven't been to yet. Um, and let's also scan that. Okay, that's a frost planet. Uh, we don't really need anything from that planet, though. Let's, well, let's at least land on it so we can... Uh, discover it proper. Wow. This is quite the mountainous region here. All right. Wandering frosts. Copious fauna. Let's look at this. There's 14 critters on here. Okay. Um, let's look at a couple things here. I need to make some more charges for our shield. So we need... Yeah, we're going to need to get some more gold. Well, no, actually, here. Let's just pop these open. So that gives us two more of those. And I needed some silver to make the heat shield. This guy. Uh, but we don't quite have enough. Okay. So let's take off again. I'm Wow, this is a really mountainous area. Is the whole planet like this, or is it just this area? Just curious.
crazy. I think if we do this, and do that, we can scan a trading post. Look at that. How useful is that, man? Okay, so yeah, it looks this looks like we were just in some gnarly mountains here because it seems to flatten out over this way. Unless that's like an ocean or something. This is probably... Oh, uh, wait. What just happened to that thing? It just disappeared. I want to get a little more silver. These spiky ones usually give gold and platinum. Yeah, this is silver here. Yeah, I, I like using the the positron cannon for those big roids. Uh, they work a little bit better than the photons do. Uh, you guys were telling me that the laser thingy works good, too, so maybe we'll try that at some point. But we're kind of limited in slots right at the moment. Okay, so that should be enough to make this. Okay. Now, once this is installed, we can still take it back off and store it, right? Yeah. Okay. What about the cold one? Uh, we just need a little more copper for that. Okay, so the next planet we land on, we'll get some copper. Now, back to here. Uh, I want to make it couple more of those in case we need them well when we need them and we got we got this off of a piratey pirate Edelcore, core horrific sample one can feel it push back when touched a flash of the bioluminescence stirring in the inky black core of this mysterious object this is used for upgrading or trading all right we'll hang on to it Looks like we might need it at some point Okay, so, um, let's crack open another one of these and make one more of these. Uh, we'll make two more. Okay, good. And then let's top that off. And we're in pretty good shape for the moment. All right, now. There is one more planet we need to discover, and it's this guy here. And by the look of it, it looks like it's probably going to be another frost planet, but we'll see. And then after we do that, we'll go ahead and uh, pop open our next chart. So we just got to figure out where this planet's at. Is it that one there? I have a feeling like that was the frost planet we were just on. But let's start moving towards it and we'll see when we get into range. Yep, that's the new one. Very cool. All right. It is also a frozen planet. Oh, it's got cobalt deposits. It's interesting. Raging snowstorms. Look at the size of that sucker. 
Oh, that's not a scannable item. Frozen tubers. There's a critter there. Scan a couple of these before the storm gets really bad. Well, that thing looks like a predator. We got you, right? Oh man, no kidding. Yowzers. It's like seriously cold. Uh, what is the temperature? Oh, look at that. Minus, oh my goodness. Minus 209. Yeah, that's chilly. Okay, we're done here. For now, anyway. Okay, so I think what we'll do... Extreme night temperature detected is why don't we go back to this trading post and then we'll pop our chart there and I want to also make that that cold uh, protection thingy too but we need a little bit more copper right here let's double check so exosuit Thermic layer. Yeah, we've got enough dioxide and silver. So we just got to get a little more copper. 21 cold resistance, 21 heat resistance. Okay. sell. Uh, let's just sell this metal to get it out of our inventory. Oh, yeah, we want to sell this, too. Um, Gravitino balls, I think we need these for upgrades. So, but my goodness, we already almost have a half a million's worth already. We might just have to have a massive Gravitino ball farming session on that planet at some point, but we're not going to do that right now. What do you have for sale here? Exo suit chart, man, that is expensive though. One hundred six thousand dollars. No, I'm not. I'm not paying that much money for that thing. No, Siri Bob. All right. So, um, let's just take a quick. Well, that ship's gone. Pirates attacking. Huh? Why do I keep getting into combat situations when my ship is not? Move that beacon. Okay. I want to find some copper. Alright, let's go take care of these idiots. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. thinking I, I want to land. There we go. Did that get us some... Um... Good. We got some standing with Viking. Okay, let's go grab this copper so we can get that other upgrade finished. And then we'll pop a chart. Milestone. Destroy 30 starships in our pretzel can, or our Pringles can. Hey, I thought I told you to land. It's not really a Pringles can, it's just a... It's a tub. It's like a flying bathtub, that's what it is. Where'd the copper go? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's supposed to be around here somewhere, isn't it? Let's 
dioxide. Didn't I mark the copper? Okay, we might as well grab that. Where is the copper? I'm totally not seeing it. It's probably just blending in with the the surrounding terrain here. Hey, look at that. Cute little feller. Okay, let's warm up again. How are we doing on uh, launch fuel? Probably stand to... Well, let's let's wait because it'll... We'll recharge. Is that? It's a turtle. It's a space snow turtle. I've seen everything now. All right, where's this gun copper at? Completely lost it. There. Okay. Oh, wow. That's like way down the mountain. Um. Yeah, let's get some die high. Uh, uh, just to make a little more launch fuel. I should be scanning this stuff too. other red dots around okay I'm not going down there on foot I mean we could get back up here but it's just a little dangerous so let's go ahead and do that This is a very mountainous planet. Kind of neat, actually. Just a little different than most other planets that I've seen in this game. Hey, get out of here. I want to mine some more dihydrogen. Subterranean organic structure. All right, is that enough to make, um, fix our thingy? No, we need 75 copper. All right, is he going to get pissed if I shoot this? Yeah, he didn't. He didn't like it so much, did he? This is like the smallest copper deposit in the world. Oh, another one? Wow, that is lame, dude. Move along, nothing to see here. Alright, we need we need something more substantial than this. down there. That's dioxide. That's copper. Alright, let's go over to that one. looks a little more substantial. We 
You scanned all these guys? It's like a big uh, armadillo raccoon thingy. That's got to be enough copper. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Okay, so we have 21% more cold resistance now. Um, all right. So, I think we're ready to pop a chart. What do I need to make more? Here, let's put... Uh, these in the ship. Oh, I've got this thermal protection module here, too. That's radiation. Yeah, we bought those up at the space station in the last episode. Um, what do these do? Seriously? No, well, that wasn't worth it. I don't want either one of those things. Uh, let's leave the mineral thingy, thingy for now. And um, I want to... What do I need to make more of these? Oh, we need some metal plating. Okay. I just need to find some ferrite. Lots of critters around, man. something over here that we haven't scanned. Oh, wow, that thing's huge. 45,000 for for that. Ooh, look at that big boy. Okay. These are all probably just ferrite rocks. Something we haven't scanned. So, let me see if there's any dihydrogen around. A little bit right here. Okay, that should be enough for us to make a few more launch fuels. Did we scan that? So, exosuit. Charge that with some dioxide. Okay, and then let's go to Starship. And I want to make... How many of these can I make? Three. And then we'll make three of those. There we go. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape now for launch fuel. Let's pop this open. It's going to be more di hydrogen, and I think we're good. Okay, let's pop a, another chart. Come on, please be a ship. Mm, that's a good sign. That is a very good sign. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go investigate. Okay, it is a ship. But unfortunately, it's a ship with a pilot. So that means we, I don't think we can take the ship. That sucks. Can we kill the pilot and then take it? <laughs> I don't think so. Get out of here, Sentinel. If it's a living slime, I'll take it, but I'm not taking any other slime. And it's even questionable as to whether or not it's worth it to take the living slime. Well, all right, shoot. What ha what do we do here? Do we talk to him? The Viking seems both ragged with exhaustion and, and inconsolably furious. They are unsteady on their feet with the disoriented manner of someone who has flown for days without rest. Whatever or whoever they were pursuing, it doesn't seem to be nearby. Well, if I ask him about a ship, he probably wants something to eat. Let's give him something to eat. Rage bubbles up in the warrior, pursuing an insult in the... Oh, of course that was the wrong thing. Prefect Lion makes a vulgar, vulgar gesture towards their starship, seeming... To resent it for failing him. I am I am welcome. Oh, I am welcome to investigate, it seems. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, I investigate. The starship is only lightly damaged. Its navigation is still actively targeting coordinates in a nearby system. Judging by the movement of the target, it is almost certainly another ship, perhaps only one hyperdrive jump away. A cursory examination reveals that both the launch thrusters and the hyperdrive have been drained of fuel. It seems... A simple empty tank is the source of all the warrior's frustration. Then he's a moron. Um, okay, let's just play this out. I need to make an antimatter. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this because we are out of space. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that too. Let's um, make sure this is fully charged. Okay, and then we're gonna get rid of this. We just gotta make some space here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the pure ferrite. And the 12 carbon thingies. All of that is super easy to get later if we need to again. Okay, so that frees us up a little space. Now, uh, we need to make an antimatter. And that means we need chromatic metal. Okay. We can do that in here. Yeah, that'll make 62. How much do we need? Only 25. Okay. Okay. Okay, fuel both. Both the launch thruster and the hyperdrive are now fueled. The ship is fully prepared to navigate directly to its target coordinates. All right, so talk to the dude. Prefect Goliath roars with thanks, giving me a generous portion of their cargo. The ship is strong again. Their target's cowardly flight has come to an end. The Viking's eyes glitter with bl bloodlust. 
All right, thanks, dude. Um, also, there are these things called gas stations, so just so you know, you know, don't want to run out of fuel. Unstable plasmas. That's that's it. That's all I get. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that phantasmagorical. All right, well, let's try it again. If a tenth you don't succeed, right? No, I don't want an abandoned building. All right, is there anything else to scan around here? Yeah, right there. All right, how are we doing on our scanning? Eight of 14. Okay, well. Um. Let's just go over there to get the dumb thing off the compass and see what it is. I mean, we spent good money, well, uh, nav data on these things, so we might as well get as much use out of them as we can. Last time I played this game during the Beyond update, in 2019, I think it was. At that time, and maybe this is still the case, I don't know, but you could make a boatload of money by basically flipping wire looms from station to station. Um, but I kind of didn't want to do that this time just because I've already done that and it took, took a fair amount of time. And I don't want to just do nothing but make, oh, for Pete's sake. Nothing but make money. Uh, I want to do other stuff too while we make money, you know, so. Okay, looks like. Looks like we're gonna. Get it on with some baddies. Let's get up into space. We have two of them. Oh, looks like maybe we have more than two? I don't know. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna call our friend in. Uh-oh. Are we going to call our friend in? Okay. Well, let's fight then. so much for fighting. Okay. Here, let's um let's recharge our shields. Okay, we gotta focus on one dude at a time here. Alright. He's down. Now, switch back to our cannon thingamadoodle. Shit. You know what we really should do, now that I think about it, is we should... We should call our freighter over here and get all this really valuable cargo off the ship. It's kind of a... Switch. Oh no, we lost our... Shit. This weapon is not good for hull damage. two standings with a Viking. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's go here. And 
here and summon our freighter. Too close to planet. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, here. I guess we, we're just really close to the surface here. Hey, we're an ally with the Viking, so there, you, there is that. Alright. Come on, man, really? Those ships just came in. Okay. Try this again. Okay. Yeah, we're going to get all this valuable crap off of our ship so we're not being targeted so much. Hey, wait a minute. Is that the, um... There's the starter ship. We do have it on here. Good old Radiant Pillar. Okay. Um... So yeah, let's uh, go into here. And we want to quick transfer these to the freighter. Quick transfer this to the freighter. That to the freighter. Uh, we're gonna pop those open. This. Ooh, nice. A warp hypercore. High capacity antimatter based fuels. An internal black hole generated to power Starship hyperdrives. These uh, cell walls are specifically designed to reflect any reality paradoxes back towards the heart of the unit where they generate additional power. So, can we charge our. Ooh, look at that. Okay. We'll hang on to that for now. Um, let's put this in the freighter. This is a phase beam module. Okay, well, we don't have a phase beam, so we're just going to keep this in the freighter, too. And I don't think we have anything else that's mega valuable on us right now. Let's pop this open. Limium. Okay. I don't think that's considered mega valuable. Uh, we want to keep the radiation thing with us in case we need... Well, we don't have a radiation planet in this system. Okay, that should, that should make things a little bit better. Uh, but, we now have lost our frickin' shotgun. We're just getting the tar beat out of us here. So we need uranium and wireloom to fix that, which we don't have. So, yeah, yes. Maybe we ought to. What's that? That's a Class B shuttle. Maybe we should take the Radiant Pillar out. I'm, I mean, because, you know, worst case scenario, right? If we get blown up in that, we're not really out anything to speak of. Any other ships in parked in here? Just to look at. Nope. There's some dudes down there. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we take the radiant pillar with us? And we are just gonna completely avoid combat. And we'll leave our other ship here since it's so banged up right now. Um, but we should take a couple of... We should take some stuff with us, though. If we're going to do that. Um, does this have a, a warp drive in it? Not that I'm planning on leaving the system. It does. Okay. Got a hyperdrive, and it's got a rocket launcher and a busted thingy here. Okay, but we're just going to completely avoid combat. I know, I keep saying that, but it doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> Um, so, do we don't want to pull anything out of 
this starship before we take off. Let's grab that. These modules if we need them. The launch fuel. Those and this. You know what? Why don't we take these two things with us too? Okay. And yeah, we're gonna have to get this repaired later on. Okay, that should be good. Uh, all right, but unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, try that again. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time in this episode, so we're basically just gonna, I'm gonna end it, and then I'm gonna start it right back up, and we'll go from here. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.